Hi and welcome in this video, I'm Stefano, one of the XI coaches and I'm involved in the financial markets since 4 years. In this video we will cover the concept of dominance of the market. The dominance is with controlling the market in a specific moment. It's a topic related to the previous video which I talked about uh, the market structures but we will cover in a deeper way uh, when you have to understand when there could be a change of charter, a change of structure, when you have to get a reversal, when you have to uh, see when the price uh, uh, will go up after a bearish moment or the opposite. So I'm gonna draw down an example for you, okay? And it's very important for you to understand that, that concept because if you want to um, trade the market in a different way, if you want to understand when the market will change the structure, you have to understand this aspect. So for example, we are here and there are two zones, like in this way. And we have, uh, for example, uh, um, a macro trend that is bullish, okay? So we are in this situation and we have higher low and higher high. And then we approach this area. In this area, that's for example, is a resistance zone, a weekly resistance zone, you can expect, uh, or maybe uh, let, let's say in uh, lower time frames, this is a uh, one hour K zone, one hour reversal zone, and we are in 15 min minutes time frame. If we approach this zone, the market could start to slow down, and you will find that market at a certain point maybe is gonna uh, warn you that the trend could change because instead of making and higher high, you will find a lower high, and it's just a, you know, a warning. The market is warning you that maybe the, the structure could change, but so far we are still bullish. But once you will find that the market is gonna break, not this low, because this low doesn't doesn't create another high high, but this low here broke this structure and create created an higher high. So this was the dominance of the market, the last law that broke the previous structure. And this in this case, if you're breaking this structure, we are still bullish because the price could do this and then this, okay? Because we are in this demand zone and the dominance so the dominance is with controlling the market in a specific moment. So far, the dominance is that because this was the low that broke the last high. Okay. In this case, this was just uh, the price didn't have the strength to create another high high, but we are still bullish in that case. But if the price, for example, broke this low, this dominance right now, those were the institution, were the buyers that controlled the market before because they broke the structure, I repeat again. But in that case, now the sellers got the power and they destroyed, they broke the buyers. They win, they won over the buyers in this case because they had the strength to break this dominance zone. And right now, that we have this low broken, the break of structures. Right now, who has the dominance? Who is controlling the market in that case? In that case, sellers got the control. So they are controlling the market right now. And now, if you, we are bearish. We are looking for short position, not long. We don't want to go buy. So at the same time, we have to be careful about this demand zone, this low, and also this low here, because the price could react in that zone. It doesn't mean that if you are bearish in this moment, in this zone, you cannot expect for a, um, for a retracement, you know? The price maybe could arrive here, and once, it will arrive here, the price could react 
make an accumulation pattern and then go up as he made before okay so but in, in this time uh, in this moment we are bearish who is controlling the market this dominance here so you have to mark that area here this way and in this zone uh, you can expect for a retracement and then at a lower time frame for example we are in 50 minutes this huge area is in one hour time frame and this little zone this uh, pattern happened in the 15 minutes time frame but if you want to uh, lower the time frame and you want to trade because in your strategy your trigger area is in uh, uh, three minutes or five minutes time frame you could expect for this retracement here and wait for a pattern for a confirm sorry the tool didn't go well okay you could expect for uh, another break of structure here and right now the dominance in lower time frame is sell okay right now sellers are controlling the market here because in uh, lower time frames here for example in fifth in uh, five minutes uh, so we are in this mo movement we are in 15 minutes and here in this little retracement we were bullish in five minutes but bullish until which zone this zone here this 15 minutes zone this supply area in which um, sellers are controlling the market because they broke this previous low okay so when the price in your trigger time frame uh, arrive in this supply area for example and in your demand area if you are uh, trading a, a bullish pattern you have to expect for this break of structure and not right now sellers have the dominance the dominance is sell then you just have to uh, expect for this um, for this retracement and then got the trade and this is the perfect pattern if you want to become profitable with, with a very huge statistic and that guy that guys is very very important you have to master that this concept so uh, sometimes I know that uh, honestly there are some uh, manipulation new mutation of the market you know the fake talk um, the manipulation the twice manipulation uh, there are different patterns that we are facing uh, right now in the market but it's very important even in, um, above all in the um, higher time frame you will find that the dominance is 90% uh, of the time respected so you have to understand that um, we will cover in the next video what is a fake change of chart we will see that theoretically and practically after but if you want to understand how to trade a fake change of chart you want to get advanced information you can find that in some uh, advanced program we are providing to our students that are uh, having very very good results uh, we, we are plenty of testimonials on that so if you want to approach the market in a different way with advanced concept uh, and you are struggling with your emotion with the mindset part you can find every solution inside our program by the way um, in this case you could get this retracement here perfect until what which zone this zone for example if you want to take partial pre personally i prefer to get 1.3 1.5 1 1.5 risk reward instead of taking partial because i'm not like i don't like the partial for me partials are winning your even if you uh, if you for example have a, an eye a high risk reward uh, 1 to 1 to 10 1 to 20 and if you want to get partial that's good but at the same time if you want to trade with a uh, high win rate and low risk reward low I mean uh, at least 1.3 risk reward I suggest you to take full profit and don't get partial but in that case for example if you want to take this position it's just a draw I know but it's just an example you could get a, a 1 point uh, almost 5 risk reward entire 5% profit just by putting one take profit where where there we where there is this demand area for example in this demand area and uh, for example in this zone uh, we are uh, we draw the we we draw down uh, this uh, uh, huge area in one hour time frame for example this is a reversal area in one hour time frame and maybe this was in uh, 15 minutes just a retracement you could wait and you could uh, wait for the price to go deeper okay and you could get 
a newt, risk reward and getting some pressure but I prefer honestly for my strategy uh, for my backtested strategy to get profits uh, in that zone and make a 1.4.76 in that case risk reward instead of taking 1.20% of risk reward making the Instagram stories and then get five partials and make the same percentage um, like uh, in this way because um, if you want to take partials in uh, 1.20 uh, risk reward uh, you will find uh, inside your MetaTrader uh, you will make the same per percentage as me that I getting a full take profit in one, uh, one point for risk reward so that's an important concept it's about risk management and risk management is more important than strategy and also the mindset all start from the mindset we will make a uh, mindset part uh, put like on this YouTube video if you want to have a, a video uh, a specific a specific a specific video that involves involves the mindset part so this is the dominance of the market and then you could get this real test and get the profit and you will have a very very important statistic so uh, let's see that in the real market because this is just a drawing you know but at the same time, if you're not, um, if you don't trust in me, <laughs> yeah, we will see that in the real market, okay? So let me find a, a good setup. Okay, so for example, here perfect as you can see market after this bullish movement we had this bearish movement with a variation of lower low and lower high okay in that case perfect and as you can see in this situation we are in 15 minutes and this happened during the in the 9 May 2023, so just um, 12 years, um, days ago, more or less. And as you can see, price after, yeah, this is an, an advanced concept we will cover in the next videos. After manipulating this liquidity here, don't concentrate on this concept, but just concentrate on the fact that price uh, here, after that, it was bearish he create he broke this structure and he created a lower low and then price started slowly slower than the impulse to retrace to create some waves inside this retracement you know inside this retracement maybe in five minutes time frame or three minutes time frame we could be bullish okay but in 15 minute times time frames right now we are bearish okay and who is controlling the market in this situation who is controlling the market in this situation in this situation the last movement that broke the last big movement not the, sm the, the small movement inside this impulse because inside this impulse there is this retracement and this impulse again then this retracement and then again this impulse but we have to take the entire impulse and the movement that broke those structures was here in this zone okay and as you can see price came back in this zone here and if you go a lower time frame maybe your trigger time frame if you want to get the trade is five minutes so let's go in uh, five minutes and you will find that inside that zone what happened what happened here price create this movement here after going bullish as you can see price arrived here and then it will retrace it create this not this high high this lower high price didn't have the strength to go upper you know to create another higher high but just the price stopped here just below this higher high 
because they didn't, it didn't have the strength to go uh, above. So as you can see, price created what this is just this was just a warning. Price uh, in this case didn't say you you have to short the market. No, because the price if the price had retraced until that zone without breaking this structure, the price ret retraced here and then hit went to the upside. We were still bullish, but in that case, price as you can see broke the last dominance. In that movement, where was the last dominance? The last dominance where was here. This was the last dominance that had the strength to create another higher high. And then the price, what happened? This strength, these strong sellers broke this demand and then the price was in control by sellers. Now the sellers from here, from this movement that broke the last dominance, right now those sellers have the control on over the market. And as you can see, what do you have to do? You just have to mark the area in which you want to see, in which you want to see the, um, the retracement to arrive and then to get the low. And as you can see, price arrived in that zone. It reacted on this order block, covering uh, a little bit this imbalance, maybe the 50% of the imbalance of this huge side candle here, more or less, I mean. But as you can see, price rejected the zone. And then you could get inside that zone here, maybe in this point, putting the stop loss where if you want to be safe, just above this, this dominance because the dominance is very strong and price diffi uh, it's difficult for the price to, uh, to overcome this zone. So you could get, you could put the stop loss just below, just, be, um, just above this dominance or just above the zone I marked. And then you could get the huge movement. Because in 15 minutes, right now we are in 5 minutes time frame, but in 15 minutes time frame, we were, we was, uh, sorry, we were bearish, you know? And then we aligned, in 5 minutes we aligned with the higher time frame, in order to get a higher risk reward by using dominance. So, if you want to make a, a quick summary, you just have to understand the macro trend. Macro trend on higher time frame is very, very important. If you're not a scalper, if you're not a day trading, if you are a swing or positioning trading, and if you want to trade from weekly to daily to four hour time frame, you could get this example and you could get, you could make your backtest analysis, you could get your trade by using as a macro trend the daily time frame or the weekly time frame, and then as a trigger point. Uh, in order to get the trade, you could go uh, on a lower time frame like daily or four hour time frame and then you could wait because the market is fractal, you know, the market is fractal and what happened in lower time frame happened also in higher time frame and in four hour, if it, if, if it is, for example, uh, let's suppose that it's a daily time frame and you see that in uh, four hour time frame in that reversal daily area we have a break of structure in four hour time frame. You could wait for a retracement and then get the huge movement to the downside. That's very important, guys. This is very simple as a concept. I suggest to backtest it, to test it, to understand how, many, uh, how strong is that concept, the statistic behind this concept, you will find, you will find out that the market respect this concept most of the times. So for this video is all guys, we will see in the next video, we will cover maybe supply of demand or liquidity and other concept like fake change of charter and more advanced concepts. So enjoy this video and apply those concepts. We will see in the next one.